We generally will initiate a biologic uh, somewhere between 12 and 24 weeks in patients on a conventional synthetic DMARD that are still having evidence for active synovitis and, and symptoms, <laughs> still have a uh, uh, active disease as measured by one of our disease activity measurements, and that's when we'll start a biologic. Uh, and, you know, there unfortunately is no good data to say which biologic to start. It's purely empirical. Uh, we have been, who have been around for a long time are comfortable with what we know. So historically, most rheumatologists will start with a TNF inhibitor. And it's generally uh, has been Enbrel or Humira, although now, again, speaking of the insurance companies, they control which TNF inhibitors we can actually use uh, by their contracts. It really doesn't matter. They're all effective. They all have the same safety profile and uh, generally we'll start with those. Uh, in a patient who does not have the response we would like them to have with the biologic, which is generally we will look at again in 8 to 12 weeks, generally by 12 weeks the patients will have a good response or no response. And we know from multiple studies with TNF inhibitors, if they've not responded by 8 weeks, they're not going to respond. Uh, at that point we'll move on to Another biologic, historically it's been a second TNF inhibitor, but that's changing. Uh, there's been a number of observational registry studies and so forth, which have suggested that patients who switch to a different mechanism of action, whether it be a Batisep, which blocks T cell activation, whether it be tocilizumab or now uh, cerulimab, which is on the market, which both block the IL-6 receptor, um, or whether it be rituximab, which uh, depletes B cells, that patients who switch to a different mechanism of action might do better than going to a second TNF inhibitor. So the biologics have revolutionized the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, when we had methotrexate, we could help a third of patients. Now with the biologics, we have good clinical responses, depending on it, however you measure it, in about 60 to 70 percent of our patients. The issue with our therapies is that we're cycling through our therapies to maintain low disease activity or remission. We know from observational registries, if we start a TNF inhibitor in an RA patient, 42 percent of patients are no longer on that after two years. So why are they going off the medication? They're having toxicity, they're losing efficacy, or they lost their coverage. But my point is, a lot of people in drug development are concerned that it's a very crowded market with, for, with RA therapies, but we need new therapies. We need new drug development. We prefer novel development. We don't want any more me too drugs, but we are cycling through these various therapies to achieve these outcomes, and in some patients we are running out of drugs. So it's very important that people continue to focus on rheumatoid arthritis and develop uh, new therapies that we can use in the clinic.